Ohio. Got a lot of work going on. And a lot of... Hey, come back here. A lot of work going on. And I'm up on top of the Widowmaker. And I was able to get JD up here too. There it is. So, come check it out. See what's going on. So I'm going to divide this trip into two segments. One segment is going to involve JD and the hard work it did both on top of the Widowmaker and down and around the cabin. And this part will involve the UTV and putting it through its paces, taking it up to Widowmaker. Now it, it may sound like we've already been up there, but um, we've taken the easy path. There's a couple different easy ways of getting up there, but they're not on our property, but our neighbors do allow us to get it. But the hardest part is on our property, and that's the one we're going to be working on. So we're going to reverse engineer this. We're going to start out at the top of the Widowmaker and kind of start working our way down. We brought JD on top and uh, we got the UTV up here. We came uh, an easy route through our neighbors. We're going to need to clear out some uh, trees to widen things because the UTV is much wider than my old ATV. And we're taking some of the sharpness out of some of the turns going down the hill because that is kind of precarious also. Got situated at the cabin, we cut the grass down there, got everything unpacked, ready to roll. Spent a couple hours there getting set up and now we're going to spend the rest of the afternoon up here. We don't have a lot of time up here today. We're just going to cut down some of the trees, some of the access points to some of the stands up here and then we'll probably hit it pretty hard tomorrow. A nice thing with this UTV compared to the ATV is I'll have this bed and we can salvage a lot of the wood that we end up cutting down when we're making clearings and um, opening up areas. Now it's going to be getting dark in about another hour or so, so we're going to head down, um, get stuff situated, get some dinner started, get a campfire going. One of the guys brought with him a uh, coyote call, which is a speaker you could set up and you could place it in a field somewhere. And it's remote control and you can make it do all kinds of noises, different animal noises, rabbits in distress, other coyotes. Uh, so he's going to pull that out and give it a try and see if we can uh, hear anything respond back. Light off. You should have a siren. Oh, I don't have a siren on here. <laughs> Mostly rabbit distress sound like. It's like a baby crane. It's like John. Like Don. My last beer is gone. <laughs> See what you did. <laughs> I know that was hard to hear, but it was kind of neat. It, it actually did work pretty good and, and stirred up several coyotes around us. And you don't realize just how much stuff is out there in the woods at night. So it's early in the morning and we're back at it. We're going to have a full day's work ahead, but I think we're going to get most of it accomplished today so we could try making our run up our side of the hill. Set him up. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> but we're thinking, what if you came straight down and we clear this out and bring it back to the path? A drag, just a slow turn. Yeah. But. All right, we're just going to cut to the chase here and we're going to hit the Widowmaker. We're not completely done yet. We got a lot more work to do, but um, we're going to give it a good run from the bottom going up on our side of the hill and see how it does. Okay, did pretty good. Um, I'm pretty impressed. Again, it's dry out, so it hasn't rained in a little while. And I'm going to give you another angle here, and I'm going to put my camera on a gimbal and hold it from the inside. Uh, I'm going to have somebody else drive, and the gimbal is going to keep the camera horizontal. So it'll kind of give you an idea of the angle of the hill as we're going up from the position of our bodies inside the UTV. So I don't know what kind of angle that is. Um, I know it's very difficult to walk. If you've watched previous videos of our cabin in Southern Ohio, we've talked about um, coming up this path and having to use a rope. And we have a rope to the left here that we hang on to to walk up the hill. Otherwise, um, you end up tripping and, and uh, slipping on dirt and sliding back down. It's childproof, Meg. <laughs> Don't <laughs> think down. it's a yeah. syrup bottle. Of course, it's a torch fuel bottle. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> you filming? Yeah. Uh, Just like the old man. Oh, look at a perfect pour. <laughs> Just like Grandma Cash. <laughs> right arm. Here's an example of old age and treachery will always beat out youth and exuberance. That looks like a pretty nasty one. Oh, yeah. We've taken the Ranger up the Widowmaker several times now, both in high gear, low gear. It seems to perform well. It seems like it has plenty of power, even though it's a 570 and they make certainly more powerful models. It's going to do what I need it to do. We had a couple hundred pounds of corn in the back and another guy going up, and it seemed to do just fine. Most of the hard work is done. We're just going to play around a little bit with the ATV and the UTV, mess around on the hill, and then go down by the road and head back to the cabin.
Well, that's not exactly the tree trim I had in mind. All in all, the UTV performs great. It's making it up to Widowmaker. I still have to test it in some inclement weather. Right now, it's doing everything I want it to do. Um, it's great to have that bed on the back to carry firewood and put loads back there that used to be um, very difficult to do on an ATV. I do miss my ATV a little bit. I'm probably going to talk about that in a future video comparing the, the two. Um, we're going to get some dinner started here. We're going to have some Italian sausage with some peppers and onions. Get the grill going and um, get another campfire going. Take it easy. Enjoy the evening. We'll probably pack things up first thing in the morning and head out. Next video we're going to showcase JD and then what everything JD did while we were down here. And JD did do a lot. We'll show you how we got JD on top of the Widowmaker. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you like and subscribe to these videos. Click on that little bell when you want to know when a new one is coming out. And keep an eye on us. Take care, everybody. Drive is. Drive is